Hey there, so in this video, let's go over a live wire component, which is a Reddit style upvote and downvote counter. So if you have ever been to Reddit, you will see that for each and every post, a user can choose to upvote it or downvote it. Similarly, I have built a component using Laravel Livewire and Alpine JS. So now since I'm logged in, I can choose to either upvote a post or downvote it. And if I want to undo this action, I'll just simply click on this again. So if the post has been already upvoted, I can click again to undo my action. Let's look into the implementation of how this is built. First thing we will look into how we are storing the votes. So this is the vote model and this is a many to many model. For this we have a votable type that is for which model model instance I am trying to store my vote. And vote will be either 1 or minus 1 depending upon whether a user has upvoted it or downvoted it. So if you look into the migration we have votable ID votable type which is the model we are trying to vote for and the ID of the model and if it is a plus one or minus one value so very simple here and the model that I'm working is this one so for this I have the relationship morph many and then th this means that I can query the quotes for this model with this method now let's look into the component live wire component that we have built this basically has four properties the model for which so this, this will store the object model object for which we are trying to capture the upvote and downvote from the user this is the total vote count the particular model object has received and this is for the user authentic uh, authenticated user purpose so if a particular user who is logged in has already upvoted it or already downvoted it so when we mount the component we get the total vote count and we also check if the logged in user has already upvoted or downvoted the model object so here we have two methods delete vote and store vote so delete vote basically deletes the user votes that undoes the vote and store vote basically adds the vote to the model object very simple and this gets the total vote count now if we look into the front end we basically have two buttons one is for the up vote and another one is for the down vote and in between we show the vote count using alpine js x text so when you click on the upvote it basically calls the alpine.js function upvote and when you click on the downvote it basically calls the alpine.js function downvote and if you see in alpine.js we have similar kind of three uh, properties which is entangled to the front end which gets the vote count is voted up and is voted down and we do a similar kind of operation here as well is voted um, for the vote up and the vote down and then finally when the voting is done in the front end we call the back end method of upvote which basically stores the user action in the table and sets the field of voted up and voted down so one would wonder that why we have repeated the same kind of action in the front end and the back end as well so what happens if you do the things in just in live wire and if the network connection is slow what you would notice is that it is it is having a lagging effect so let's say i comment this out i comment out the front end code of upvoting and downvoting and just rely on the back end code now if we give a refresh and we do uh, increase it then it, it increases simultaneously and decrease simultaneously this is working fine since we are working on the local host and the network connection is fast let's try this out with a throttle mode let's say we are working in a slow 3g and now we'll refresh this so 
so now if I try to upload this you would see that there is a lag of around three seconds and if I try to remove the upload still there is a lag of three seconds so if you just depend on live wire for your backend actions the feedback on the front end would be very slow and to give an experience to the user that the action is spontaneous what I have done is I have done the similar kind of thing in the front end as well so if user chooses to upvote and what we are looking for is we want to undo the action and if not then we go ahead and upvote it so this gives a instantaneous feedback to the user of uh, increasing the counter as well as the turning of uh, the color of this thing and then we proceed ahead to call the live wire method using the dollar wire attribute so then we can go ahead and increase the counter in the back end and user won't notice of what is happening in the back end so now if you notice if I give this a refresh So even though I am in the slow 3G environment, if I click this, the action is spontaneous and then the backend call happens and the user won't notice that. Similarly for the downward, the action is spontaneous. So whenever you are working with live wire and you want to have a spontaneous result on the screen, you can choose to have Alpine JS as your intermediate uh, feedback as an intermediate step to give feedback to the user. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we have used this single uh, component to to have this uh, list of posts. So what we have done is So I am getting the post from the database and for each post I have rendered this live wire component and I have passed the model as the single instance of that post, the post object. So now this thing we have is this counter and later I am printing out the title and the excerpt of the post and later in the, here I have the pagination. So this is a reusable model you can use for any of your model objects whether user, comments, post. So any of your model object can be upvoted or downvoted and since we have used Alpine.js the result is spontaneous. I hope you like the component. You can find the Livewire component code in the link given below in the description. If you liked it please give the thumbs up and uh, share this with your friends. Thank you.